net play uh, for anything. Do you ever have, like, for tournaments, do you ever just, like, have, like, a drink next to you? If so, what is it? Uh, so, I, I don't have consistent drinks, but I usually do have a bottle of something. Keyword, bottle of something. Mm -hmm. Not a cup. I'm not trying to ruin my keyboard. For real. So Whenever yeah. I need to channel power into my Mold Drifter DVD play, I always have a nice cold glass of rice milk. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, well, um, but when I get really into it, I forget my drink is there. Yeah, I've been drinking Aldi brand. Um, Yo, let's go carbonated Aldi. Wa carbonated water, like flavored water. Let's go Aldi. Yeah, Aldi hype. But we're getting into this loser's finals. It's going to be Yo. Ripple on Rob versus Wish on Sonic. I got to get the Aldi sponsorship for uh, Wombat Wednesday. <laughs> bro, Aldi's hype, bro. They, they, they treat their employees Yo, let's wrong. go. let's go Wish. <laughs> okay, that's a dead Rob. Yeah. He could Wish. only fare. Wish drawing first blood here. So a big thing about the... Um, about Sonic and Rob is that they actually have some similarities in their recovery. Um, the big one is um, they can't oh, air dodge that's... after, like Rob can't air dodge after using the, the full brunt of his, um... oh, I see you trying to moonwalk Ripple. Yeah. Sounds we cool, saw those yeah. failed attempts. If, if the crowd didn't see it, they know about it now. We got, we got some aggression from Wish here. I'm really curious to see how this neutral ends up playing out because Sonic, I feel like, struggles against projectiles, right? Because it's very non committal ways to deal with neutral, and Sonic kind of just wants to run in whenever an opening pops up. So, like, Gyro looks really annoying for Sonic. Rob, or Rob specifically, has very non uh, committal projectiles. Yes. Ooh, a good shark to get that up air, taking mm. away Ripple's second stock. I mean, so far this is looking like relatively even in a lot of areas, but Wish has just been calling out Ripple's uh, recoveries. And Rob knowing, or being known to have kind of a few options when it comes to- All right, he's out of boosts. Oh, he landed. Oh yeah. How many does uh, he get? He gets I, I, four? He gets three. Three, okay. So I think it's, it's like especially impressive that uh, yeah, Wish is able to uh, score all these sharks because you need to oh. jump just the right time because if you miss the jump, then Sonic gets in the air, and his air speed is less than stellar, and you can't just drift to your opponents, you're just up there and miss, because Sonic is a newborn child while he's in the air, movement-wise. Mm -hmm. I just want to go ahead and reiterate how well Wishes is playing the offstage game versus uh, Rob right now. Incredibly well. Mm -hmm. He like went all the way out there and ended with an air. Oh my gosh, Ripple trying something of his own there, but getting triple up aired. Ripple. Triple on the ripple. Woo! Oh, bait. <laughs> triple on One the more. ripple. You heard that. a belt on a shell. Oh, no. Not these. Oh, oh man. Oh, he didn't jump. Yeah. He didn't do the second jump. He could have ended it right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Back air looking for it. <gasps> That's and, it. And one missed alleged dash led to that happening. That was a very just a uh, decisive first game from Wish. Yep, we're, looks like we're gonna stay on Rob. I mean, the game was the game was close, right? So the main thing that has to change here to shift it in Ripple's favor is to find a way to just make it back to stage more safely and mix it up because that was the main thing I noticed at least that was separating them apart was that Wish was kind of capitalized on every edge guard opportunity and just keeping the, the pressure high. But we are going to go to FD. That's an interesting pick um, for for Wish. Um, I think that I I think Ripple won here, not necessarily to um, or sorry, be Ripple better at zoning. Ripple. Yeah. Uh, I think it's more of like... Uh, I'm trying to think of the correct way to articulate this. He's sick of Sonic getting away. Right. I mean And there's no there's only one way to go. Yeah, that's true. It's 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 burn your jumps. So like it, it's definitely FD is a stage where your move your approaches 
your movement, everything you do is a lot more committal. Except well, with your projectile. I think it's the same way though, because Rob now has to pretty much go to ledge or onto stage. He doesn't get any options. So as long as Sonic covers that ledge option, he can kind of just get in there fast enough to punish when Ripple does recover on stage. That is correct. So it's like a another double-edged sword. I feel like FD is the definition of a double-edged sword. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is the first time you said that, but I, I do agree with it. Yeah. Uh, we said it for one of the previous sets. I can't remember. Oh, he lost his stock, but at least he got some extra credit since he was going to lose it anyway. Mm -hmm. Again with the axe kick. So, so again, I know I said this last set, but for the fans who are just tuning in on YouTube, Sonic can only do one thing on an upbeat, an aerial. Yep, can't air dodge. And, uh, yep, Ripple can't. was able to take advantage of that when Sonic was, or when he was at the ledge. Yep, can't do B moves either. No B moves, so, no air dodge. Shout out to B only moves, moves. Shout outs to B moves. Misfiring so, everybody. I'm oh, sorry, Mo, go ahead. So he can't even double jump? Nope. nope. Once you've upbeat, you're just left with whatever you had left. Your only Hello, option is aerial. So I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm glad I came back. I was hoping to see this. Let's go. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a hype set. Um, already has been so far. It was relatively close. One thing that we were noticing was that uh, Red Bull is just getting edge guarded a lot. And that's been the, the big difference that shifted it for Witch's favor. So Rob has really good frame data, but it's crazy to see Rob struggle to do something against Sonic's offense. Yeah, it Ooh, gets right outside of that get up attack. Um, see, I can see this being an annoying like matchup because I feel like Rob's want to, especially if they want to boost and like, you know, gain some footing in neutral, like Sonic is fast enough to interrupt whatever m move they honestly pick or whatever they're really going for. If you just kind of cut him out perfectly. Oh we should just, like, go as ham off stage. How often do these guys play each other? I know they're both in Chadcourt. I would assume court. not very frequently. I know they're in Chadcourt, so they might play uh, pretty often. But, Ripple actually one -one. takes it. FD was a great choice for him. Yeah, there was kind of two stocks that looked the same there, where uh, Wish kind of just fared at the ledge and died for it after up being. I know one of them was pretty much he was going to die if he didn't. So at least get the damage, but yeah, we're gonna see a couple fans here. Where, where does Wish want to go? He wants to go to Metal Cavern. Okay. I, I'm I'm one of those people who loves this stage. I think this stage is great. Um, supplies like some really unique situations for uh, a lot of different characters to really yeah, make the most. Like tech chasing on platforms on this stage is super fun. Hold on just You're kind of low, by the way. I don't know if uh, it's for everybody else. I might have to turn you up. But yeah, um, already starting off this game, Wish has a lot of pressure off stage, and just continuously being thrown just back and forth. Ripple is struggling to regain that center stage. Woo! Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, they both go for a grab, but Sonic has the shortest grab range in the game. It, it's interesting watching like high level players because they just wait out things like spot dodge. They pick up on like panic options. So you'll see like that get up option and then Ripple just waited for the spot dodge to respond to it. So like there's little small things like that that a lot of players don't really pick up on. They're just trying to punish it at that moment like they come up. See, I, I can completely understand uh, why Wish went to the stage here. Yeah. Now that I'm seeing it, uh, this top platform is just just opens up a whole world. It's like when Luigi that, goes here. Exactly. That's um, kind of what I'm saying. Is Sonic seems like one of those characters that really. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, he hit him, so and he didn't get his uh, he didn't get his uh, boosts back. But when you get hit out of that upbeat, you do get your air dodge back. Oh. Okay. Oh, uh, that makes sense actually. Yeah. It's it's only fair. I love the way that uh, Witch goes about playing Sonic, and he's been playing like Sonic for years. But I always felt like he played him the the right way or the best way. Like instead of the just the right way to play. <laughs> yeah, but I think like, that the right way to play Sonic is if you're having fun. 
what I mean by that is he's, he's he's using his spacing tools. Sonic has pretty good normals in like with his forward air gets a lot of range out of it. And a lot yeah. of Sonics want to just press B in your face. And his spin moves, though they're fun, uh, they're negatively disjointed and easy to like, it's easy to keep Sonic out if that's the type of game you're playing. But Sonic is super fast, has like the best like dash dance game probably in the game next to like, yeah. ooh, like Falcon. And like he can make the most out of almost any situation. So when you play a patient spacing Sonic, that is the scariest thing to play against. Yeah, because I think it's can... a, that's a common play style for this character. It's a lot of bait and punish, like heavy movement. For a while, Sonic players weren't playing like that. They were trying to suppress speed. Overly out. aggressive, just rascaling and yeah. all the or, other or Sonic like, tech. And there was like ones like Wild who like still like dies by the B button. But uh, Ripple yeah. making a big comeback right now. Like, Wish was up. Mm -hmm. Well, we've already seen after game two that Ripple can like has what it takes to deal with the like. Oh gosh, that it's a crazy turnaround. But to deal with a lot of what Sonic kind of throws out, the main area he was struggling was getting back to stage, and it's already shown that he's recovering a lot more frequently now. Not just recovering, but also gaining back ground on the stage because there were situations where he'd just get re grabbed and sent right back off. Nair's not going to quite kill this time. However, Ripple is at a very rough percentage here if he were to get grabbed again. So so there's, there's a little trickery I've been noticing here. <laughs> I don't think oh, Rob's arms beautiful. are grabbable. That was beautiful. Really? But... Yeah, so when you've noticed, uh, Sonic has the shortest grab range in the game. So um, really? He's, really? He's, tried, he's tried grabbing Rob when his arms are right in front of him a few times, and it just hasn't been grabbing. Uh, I know there's some, there's some, uh, like, hitbox nerds in the, uh, in the chat right now, so if somebody could tell me if, um, Rob's arms are grabbable hurtboxes, that'd be great. This is a really close game, by the way. They're down to their last stock, both high percents, yep. sitting around 100, no options there for wishes, but somehow lands, looks for a tech option here, misses the follow-up. Oh, now it's going to be oh, Ripple's turn. Oh, wow, the laser just cool. takes it. That was Great deceptive. Laser. Ripple did it without a controller plugged in. We're going right back to Metal Cavern. I, I definitely think this is an okay call. Just an unfortunate, unfortunate uh, game for Wish. But right now, it's going to be Ripple who starts off the early game pressure. And kind of just forcing Wish to the left side of the stage. Not able to do anything. He's just trying to land back even after the up B is getting continually pushed off. That's going to be a dead Sonic. Uh, unfortunate. Who would have thought that a robot would be the one to take out Sonic? Yeah, didn't Metal Sonic already try that once? Yeah. Or Robotics what's the other robot years. from DX? I can't remember. I can't remember his name. Oh, and then there's the robot Nick. Exactly. I don't know why Eggman doesn't um, just hire this guy, you know? Yeah. He's definitely he's definitely writing an email right now. <laughs> One thing I'm noticing about Ripple, he's playing a pretty grounded game. Like for a couple yeah. of games I've been seeing of him, he's not been like boosting a lot. He's not been because when you they boost is like that's kind of really your opportunity to try to like snipe them out of whatever move they want. Right. But he doesn't give you the time or space to do that. He just you know, like kind of just holds space, you know, throws out some good normals, maybe an aerial, and, but like he doesn't boost. Absolutely. It's, uh, I also think Ripple's kind of playing in similar ways that Morse code typically does in terms of just kind of like wave dash back like and then a tilt move or like down like using a lot of tilts uh, to control the neutral but uh this is looking really like a really strong start for us um, for Ripple wow great DI I don't know if that was intentional or not but avoids getting uh, hit by the stage but wish it go ahead goes ahead and takes the first stock um, for him but is sitting at a rough 135 now. Just praying that he doesn't get hit by something like Nair. It's also a percent where he's going to die to a grab now. Pretty sure. <gasps> Ooh, oh, one percent ripple. ripple. Wish needed that. That's sick. Really put the rip and ripple there. Absolutely. Oh, oh, oh. Great use of down air. Not as an attack, but to get the heck out of there. 
Yeah, Ooh. back air is such a good move because if your opponent's feeling froggy or panicky and they just decide to spot dodge, it just there's just enough time for, until the move actually comes out that you still get punished anyway. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. They have like two times in a row. Oh, shields the laser, but didn't actually get anything off of that. And here we go, just sitting back, throwing these in, just finding and opening. But that wow, the angle that that sent at because he like slid off the stage. Is it down smash into an off stage? Okay, he's just gonna play it safe. He does not want to be on the wrong side of this edge guard. Great drift. Yeah. Let's turn around and immediately boost back no. into fair. No, yes, yeah. Dude. No, need to do. Situation. Wish upbeat really, really early, and it was kind of left with nothing. Was falling down. I see what you mean where the most Morse code-esque play style where he's just kind of wave dashing back, letting him come in, and then like punishing him yeah. over extending. That's what I'm saying. It's very reminiscent of Morse code. My cat is making weird noises in the background. I'm sorry if you can hear that. <laughs> I think I think the answer might be instead of overextending too much, you have to be content with whatever space you gain against these types of opponents and wait for them to press the bad button, you know? Yeah. This is, this is really close. Despite the unfortunate SD from uh, the roll. He's been almost every like roll away that like Wish has been doing has been getting caught has been yeah, being sniped out by these side piece from Ripple. Good stuff. Oh okay. These, Wish has to be very careful with these uppy these high uppies. Because he's yeah, Wish lost has been two like, stocks this game to that. Yeah, and Wish has been uh Doing some very uh, committal edge guard attempts. This is Ooh, scary. Going for the, going for like two Randy smash attacks in a row. You know, I think that could have been it. We need to be patient. Wish stayed on ledge. Oh, this is scary. Uh, uh, it's gonna be it. Ripple takes oh, a set. Oh, 